Acting has finally made it, nigga. But hold on, wait. We gonna get straight down to these payments, nigga. And he hasn't paid it, nigga. Now listen. This rumor, right, about Easy and Remy, that's been going on for months, has not been addressed properly. That's why it's all out of control now. That's why everybody believes it's true. Because they're not correcting it. They're not they're not standing up for what's really going on. Like, see, if they wasn't messing around and it was just business, they're supposed to say that. They know how detrimental things can be once once a rumor like that hits the internet, hits the world. People are going to believe that. People like drama. So if you don't address it and you don't address it properly, you deserve all of the backlash that you get. You deserve it. You deserve rounds of being exposed. You deserve all of the flat slander, the fucking, I mean, the judge, the judgmental shit. You deserve it. Because I think they tried to like play the high role to say we're not gonna pay that no mind. We're just gonna continue on our little thing. But meaning is you know how important and how detrimental that is to both of y'all careers. So if you did come out and say, I mess with him. Like, what are you, like, what is she ashamed? You know what I mean? Like, what, 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 is, what does she feel bad? What does he feel bad? Like, it's a come up for him, but it's a down step for her. Cause she's messing with the nigga she's managing. You're not supposed to mix business with pleasure. That's first and foremost. So that's messy coming into it. You mixing business with pleasure. If it's not true, you supposed to address it, you supposed to address it right then and there. So it can go away. And you supposed to get Pat Poos, which is your husband, get him on the line and say, yo, we're gonna sit down in front of this camera and say what's going on. Whether whether it's true, whether it's false, whether it's not that serious, whether it's some truth to the story, whether it's you gotta let people know. My thing is now it's just too late now. If anybody tries to come out and try to like clear it up, it's too late. All the nigga said was, yo, it's cat. What do you mean, nigga? What's cat? What's cat? What? Explain what you mean by that. We we know you was gonna say it was a lie. But when you said all of it is cat, explain it. That's when we know, like, we want to know what's, what's really going on. You know what I mean? Easy to block is a fucking, like, he's like a, I think he's like a hypocrite. Like, he's, he's kind of hypocritical. He's not from Philadelphia. But he, he try to carry himself like a Philly nigga. Like, he wants to fit in so freaking bad, man. But I just don't, I just don't believe him. I just think he's just a good rapper. He's a good rapper. From the outskirts that always wanted to be in the in crowd, you know what I mean? Amongst the affiliates of Philly. He wanted to be amongst the affiliates of Philly. And when he got a hold of him, he said, No, nah, I got I got the ball now. I'ma run this shit. So it's like he infiltrated the the whole battle rap, battle rap underground John and just went. He trying to take it, he trying to take it to another level. But he got too much baggage and he got too much lies on top of lies that's going along with his career and his path. It's too much lies being told. It's, it's, it's some a lot of stories is unfinished. It's a lot of fabrication. Like I, he's not an authentic nigga. You can like you can look and tell. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. He handcrafts some nice bars. I ain't gonna lie. He he know how to handcraft some nice bars. But I think anybody can. If you give somebody time to, they can handcraft some nice bars. But is it 100% true? It's the question. Motherfuckers want to know how true your bars is, and that's how they judge if you hot or not. They don't care if you if you hot. They care if, you're, if your shit is true or not. Now, he convinced everyone, and he got a buzz, and he got, you know, he got a lot, he got, he got a lot of leverage in the game. So, motherfuckers is on his... They on his wave. They gonna ride his wave. Remy, Remy is a bag. Anything attached to Remy is a bag. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't lose when you under the wing of Remy. But now he got under the people under the wing of him. That's making him feel like he more of the shit. But really, he ain't shit. He ain't shit. He's just a good rapper. He's just a good rapper. You know what I mean? And he and he's very he's very persuasive. And he and he studied he studied Philly niggas to the T. And he got it. I mean, I, I think he I think he's a cornball. You know what I mean? Respectfully. That personality, well, I think he's a cornball. You know what I mean? But that's here no there. But you know the vibes, man. Throw up a sign, I shall arrive. You understand me? That's why I make these videos, because easy to block. He probably can't stand me. You feel me? If I wanna come on a platform like this and not give you the real me, when that nigga easy to block is filthy. I tell my haters hurry up and die, but you take too long. Brow!